Hello, Jens. Hi. If I were to take on the discipline of safety risk management, what advice would you give me before I start? Also, it's very much about mindset. Very often I see people uh, looking at what goes wrong from a technical perspective. Maybe your medical device fails, or maybe the user does something wrong. Mm. But we can actually have setups that have an inherent uh, danger, so to speak, without anybody doing anything wrong, or the user failing just because by setup it has an inherent uh, danger. So, and um, sometimes we have to accept that because there's a very high benefit, but sometimes we can do a better job and we can do reduce the risk, and we are required to reduce the risk as much as we can. So I would say that's one of the pitfalls I see. Yeah. I also sometimes see people come from a specific domain, like software, hardware, and they focus on that domain because they have knowledge there, and they forget the very big picture. So it's very much about systems engineering, so be a good systems engineer yourself, and know somebody who has that ability. It's about domains. Yeah. You may need to have people knowing about batteries, knowing about electronics, knowing about materials, and so on. So that's a lot to it. Also, sometimes I see that um, people forget the context. They make a device and it may be safe in the current context, but they don't really uh, think about the context probably changes faster than the device they're designing. So what starts out as being safe becomes more and more risky as time goes by. Because like if you have an app, um, you get new phones with different uh, display layouts perhaps, you get new apps that could interfere with the one you have and so on. Take the GPS from you if you need that and all these kinds of things. Mm. So there is some common knowledge that I see that uh, experience that risk managers tend to uh, not know about. And it seems that most people commit the same errors. So we should kind of learn from literature and from other risk managers when we do this. Mm. So I could list probably 10 things that we need to keep in mind. You say I'm used to the safety interpretation that one has um, when one is used to working with safety in a software perspective, which mm -hmm. is safety as insecurity. Yeah. Let's say I took <clears throat> and applied a lot of security controls to a software as a medical device. Yeah. Could I, could that conflict uh, end up conflicting actually with the safety as in? Uh, Usability safety, for instance, um, could I make it so secure that it actually affects usability from a safety risk management perspective? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I would say just a simple password. I mean, uh, do you want a password? Yes or no. The password will protect your device from others, but it will also protect from you. And I mean, if you need access to it quickly and you don't use it very often, perhaps then a password could actually make things worse. Mm. Also, we can make so much security that we actually make it unsecure because then people start writing down passwords and then we actually make it less secure because we put in so much security, people will find ways around it. And yeah. the same goes for safety. People will try to find ways around it. And people are lazy and complacent in the sense that they will probably push things to the limit. I mean, if you cross the street for red light and it works, people might try to do that more and more conclude that nothing uh, actually happened. But this is not the truth. I mean, you only have so limited data. So perceived safety and actual safety are two very different.